What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Supreme Retail and Resale Price Estimations full drop us review on this time. We're here to talk about Supreme Week 2, Spring Summer 2020. Shaping up to be a decent week. I thought it was going to be better. I think a lot of us out there did because it was rumored to have a Motion logo hoodie coming out, which is out in the lookbook. So it's definitely coming out this season. It was expected to come out this week. It is not happening. No mogos, no motion logos. I don't want to hear none of that. No, 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 no. Not coming out this week. Confirmed to not come out this week. But what is confirmed? We got Supreme Nike Air Force Ones. We got the incense holder, which you know I'm about to buy like three of them, Johns, just so I can be have a beautiful aroma in this dirty ass building. You know, I need that good aroma. I mean, we have it. I got incense out here, but I don't have that Supreme incense holder. You know, I got I got to live in it up the room a little bit. You know. But before I start, I always got to have my three biggest announcements before I start the retail resale price estimations video. First of all, I do make this video uh, to help you guys make uh, make a little bit more profit, know like what's the most hyped and all that stuff. So please do not take this, uh, take it all with a grain of salt, first of all, and do not be going to cock eggs, cock eggs, bulk eggs, whatever you want to call it, and undercut the hell out of everybody, okay? That's not what I make this video for. Try to shoot up over the moon. We can all try, at least anybody out there watching, we can all shoot over the moon and try to keep market up because lately market market has not been the greatest and second of all if you want that good luck that good karma that good blessing on this thursday's drop at 11 a.m eastern make sure you hit the subscribe button down below you know you hit that red bogo you're gonna hit the red bogo on those air force ones clean and easy just how it be and also i did want to mention we do have our giveaway going down right now for the strange love sbs actually boom right here free size nine Free size nine strange of SBs going for over five hundred damn dollars. All you gotta do is check out my Instagram post on my page that does have me wearing these on feet. Yeah, I did wear the giveaway pair. Cry about it. Too bad you're getting it for free anyways. So check that post out. Tag three friends in the comments. Follow me. Follow out of Harmony Seller and tag the post. And also, if you guys are interested in the free Discord group, you guys can send me a screenshot of you subscribe, what you just did a minute ago for the good luck, good karma. You can just send that to me at. Tommy Boy TV Plus. And I'll send you an invite to the free group. There's also the premium group that I do run for $20 to $25 a month. By the way, if you guys are interested, that'll be restocking this Sunday. But enough of those self promotions. We are about to get through this and go from least hyped to most hyped and least resale to most resale. As I said, the most hyped item that was supposed to be this week was going to be the Motion logo. However, that is not coming out. But, you know, there's always some good stuff to find. At least this week there is. This week is shaping up to still be a pretty, pretty decent week. First up, we got the Intelligent Six Panel Hat. Uh, basic ass six panel, five different colorways, black, burgundy, blue, white, and orange. It does have like Intelligence code on it, if I'm not mistaken. It says like, yeah, it has Intelligence and codes and digits. It literally looks like code. And it's a quote from Supreme, basically. I mean, I'm not a fan. I don't wear flat brim hats, but what I do like to see is the fact that Supreme is bringing back a lot of dad cap curve bill caps. I love that. I can't. I hate the flat brim Johns. I sometimes wear curved brim hats, but not often. But if they make a dope one like the S logo one that may be coming out this week, actually, it's not coming out this week, but it was supposed to come out this week. I mean, it was rumored, not supposed to, because it was supposed to, it was rumored to come out this week. Just bad info at the end of the day. Uh, that's was something I really look forward to releasing. Then we go into the logo repeat beanie, dropping in four different colorways black, green, white, and orange. Uh, also, another easy pass for my end. It has Supreme written all over. And it is actually, I, I did see this being worn by Gons. Uh, I think that's when it did come out originally. I think it was one of the first leaked hats as well. Uh, the beanie will be retailing for $36, and the intelligence cap will be retailing for $44 US dollars. Then we go on to the fade stripe long sleeve top. Another basic piece they drop almost all the time a basic long sleeve, nothing special. A stripe one over dyed, add a little bit of branding on it, and they drop it about once every few weeks or so throughout the season. Four different colorways. We got a tan, a black, a green, and a purple. If you're going to go for any colorway, personally, I would recommend going for the black or the tan. Other colors are just too bright and too obnoxious, but the purple one is dope, you know. If you like smoke perp, sip and lean, something like that. I mean, if you're on that wave still to this day after everything that's been going on, that's for you. Uh, but resale wise, definitely not a good vibe to go for, and it's going to be $78 retail. Uh, spell out short sleeve top is another one item releasing this week. Does look very artiste. 
It looks inspired by an artiste, like maybe a Picasso type beat, but it does have Supreme just painted all over the t-shirt. A little bit too much, way too much for me. I like, sometimes I like the all over print stuff, but this shit is just definitely not it on my end. All uh, dropping in three different colorways. We've got a black, white, orange, yellow, and purple and red and this will be retailing for approximately 88 78 to 88 dollars depending on it the reason why it's a little bit of a higher retail is because of the fact it is a higher quality t-shirt just an fyi uh, then we go on to the next picture, which is the Drama Mask Fleece Jacket and coincidentally if you saw my OVO discount sale in-store vlog I copped this piece, but except it had not this piece, but it had that same design. I'm not saying they copied me, but maybe I had a design on the pants as well. And this is also dropping in three different colorways. Typically, fleeces from Supreme like these are kind of hyped up. I want to say, uh, like the Supreme Wolf fleece we had, we had the Bandana fleece drop before, we had the Ganesh fleece drop before, but that one didn't do too well because that was just a whack ass design. Unfortunately, this isn't the greatest design either. I mean, it does have a really nice, I think the pink, I think this could be the low key sleeper of the week, not gonna lie. Every week there typically is like a low key sleeper piece and I feel like this could be it. It's polar fleece with a full zip closure, zip hand pockets at lower front, which front, which are card graphics on chest and back. As I said, three different colorways. Pink, I could see being the most sought after, especially in like a smaller medium, just because it does appeal more to the female community out there. I could see them rocking this and it does, like it's, it's, art it's theater it's drama and i feel like it could do really really well because you know ladies got a lot of drama attached with them whoa what guys don't be like my friend here <laughs> then we go on to the supreme sevens rugby or dropping three different colorways one of them is like a really bright obnoxious looking colorway then we got like a little bit of faded out print and i say supreme going down new york and the sevens on the back and does have what looks like to be looks like to be Chinese writing on the back. Now, I don't know if it is. I apologize if it's Japanese Mandarin or something like that. I don't really know, but it looks like it is a different type of font from Asia. And it does have world famous on the polo. They don't really make these many rugbies anymore. I think it's more of like a classic design they don't do too often. But I do say this is a cool looking piece. Will it be flipping for much? Not really. And retail will be approximately $118. At the end of the day, it's still pretty expensive for a rugby polo. Then we go into the canvas hooded work jacket, which we retelling for approximately $198 to around maybe a little bit more to $220. Four different colorways on this one. It is a hooded work jacket. Tell me these work jackets do go for more because they're more heavily padded on the inside and they are a bit of a better quality than, for example, a regular zip up hooded sweatshirt. Four different colors, as I said, we got a camel looking bamboo print with Supreme on the side. That Supreme branding kind of looks like the Snap-on. You know the Snap-on Tools branding? It looks very similar to that. And it'll be releasing in four different colorways, an over-dyed green, over-dyed red, a black, and then, as I said, the camel print. It does have quilted design on the inside of it, but at this retail price, there's not gonna be much profit. And this is an item I could see going on sale at the end of the season. Like, if you don't know, I dropped a few vlogs before of like the end of the season in-store sale. They do it pretty often. Um, like they literally do it now every single season they pretty much like 40 to 30 percent off some stuff and i could see this one once again going on there then we go on to the underlined five panel which will be matching the underlined crew neck which that crew neck is to, i want to say like the top four hype pieces of the week but we're going to match it in together uh same design same print the only difference is the colorways now the cap will be dropping in a camo colorway while the crew neck will not be dropping in that same exact camo colorway but overall the cap is something i would shy away from the uh, crew neck however is something i would definitely recommend going for just because the simple design does appeal to a lot of people you can't go wrong will resell be there probably not just because there's gonna be a hell of undercutting on this piece and at the end of the day demand on this one is gonna be there i think because once again the branding it's bigger branding than a box logo but box logo is just much more iconic at the end of the day than a basic ass underlying critic but this reminds me of a brand i still cannot figure out what brand i feel like they're gonna end up getting a cease and desist for this but it reminds me so it's so similar to what it's like that game we used to play i mean i used to play at least back in high school when we used to have to guess the name of the logo and they would remove the, the actual name of the logo away from it i'm getting off track but that's just what it reminds me of best colorways to go for would be pink ash gray and black uh, the navy red and yellow at the end of the day as well if you're trying to go for it but i'd say retail on this one is going to be around 148 dollars for the crew neck and for the underlying cap it'll be approximately 48 dollars uh, then keep it pushing on to the city lights round short sleeve shirt as well as the city lights puffy jacket 
two pieces dropping from this collection. This week, we got a purple and black colorway. Best colorway to go for is the black one. I could see the brown shirts doing really, really well. As long as the puffy... And I could see puffy jackets doing decent, but... It's going to be a high retail of around $348. So seeing that's going to be that high, it does cut away a lot of the resale profit. Now, if this did retail for like $220, I could see it going for $350. But the fact it's so expensive and it's starting to get warmer out. Not a lot of people are thinking about jackets anymore. People are just moving on to like hoodie, hoodies, crewnecks, short sleeve shirts, pants, and shorts. Like not really much the jacket vibe anymore. Even though it's still winter, technically it's like 60 damn degrees outside right now. And we're in New York, well, Newark, and it's damn wild out here. So no one's focused on jackets at the moment everyone's trying to move on to summer with the happy vibes uh then we go on to, but resale wise however for the round shirt i could it's going to be retailing for around 138 148 dollars i can see resale going to around 220 to 240 but once again oh, with the undercutting and all that stuff because rounds have been a hot topic lately and the more I, the more resellers that go for a specific item such as the round the less market it's going to be because everyone's just going to undercut each other because no one wants to wear it actually wear it everyone just wants to sell it uh, then we can keep it pushing to the color block collection. You can see there's a lot of collections dropping this week. Uh, this is the hooded zip-up sweatshirt along with the sweatpants. And personally, I think I might just cop the full gray outfit. The black branding on with the red on top of the gray. Retail on this one is expected to be $158 for the hooded sweatshirt. The pants are expected to be around $138. Doesn't remind me of the same shit that dropped the first week, which is the panel track pants and track jacket. Basically the same play on, like you have the same almost identical branding except it's just lowered on the actual body. Uh, resale wise, I could see the hooded sweatshirt going for around maybe $200 just around there fluctuating depending on the size. And then the pants I could see going for on retail. Not a lot of people are rocking with pants anymore from Supreme. I'm surprised, but we saw like the panel track pants. They aren't doing too hot at the moment. Like it, a lot of stuff isn't moving as it used to be. Unless it's one of those camel pants, the camel cargos that have branding on them. Those I still do think will do pretty, pretty well. Then that keeps us pushing on to I think the last few items of this drop, which will consist of the double XL hooded sweatshirt. Imagine it was an official club with double XL XXL. That'd be cool as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, well, this keeps us in to five different colorways. We have a navy, a purple, black, yellow, and ash gray. Estimated retail on these will be around $158, plus shipping books tax. Of course, on all these items, depending where you live, resale wise, I could see these going for damn near nothing, unfortunately. Branding is on point, but they've done this design in the past, and basing it, basing it off those pieces, it doesn't do well at the end of the day. So I would say this is an easy pass if you're going for the flip. Personally, though, I do think it's a great cop, especially in the navy and black colorways, with the color blocking and the overall design is just pretty simple at the end of the day. Now, I think that's main pieces. We got other cam caps, but we can just pass on those cam caps. Just not the move. We got the Stars Incense Burner now. Now, it's a 9.5 by 1.5 and does have Supreme Burning on it. Estimated retail right now is around $20. Not exactly $18 to $22. Some people are saying it's less. Personally, I don't see it being less, but if it is, then that means I'm definitely going to try to cop multiple. But two different colorways, a black and a white. I'm going to try to cop both, to be honest. I just love incense. It's just a personal thing that I really do like. Will it resell for much? Maybe around $30 to $40. But if you guys do ever go to Supreme Men's store, especially in New York, you know that they'd be burning incense up there. And it's just dope as, dope as hell to finally see them drop in something like this. I was hoping they would do it as well, which is weird that they actually did. Then that keeps us pushing to the transparent lock with the Supreme running on it. Now, you may think, what the hell is the point of having a transparent lock? Your boy really doesn't know what the point is. Like, I don't know. But... It's a dope piece once again. It's more like a shelf accessory. You shouldn't really use it because then people will just see how the hell it works. And it's going to be a lot easier to crack the code if you're trying to lock something up. And it's Supreme, so someone's just going to try to steal it right off the bat. But retail on this one is expected to be around $24 to $34. Could be a little bit more. It is an official collaboration, if I'm not mistaken, with... Actually, I don't even know who it's a collab with. But they have... they Like Supreme locks, clear locks have been a thing. I just never see the point in it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, leads us to the last and final piece of this week, which is the Supreme Nike Air Force Ones in the black and white color. The most simple design I think ever released by Supreme on a sneaker. Definitely the most simple. All it is, the laces are obnoxious in my opinion. I do not like the red laces. I do like the white and black laces. Well, the red laces on it are just way too much for me. But we do have the simple Supreme box logo branding on the back right heel. I know a lot of people are wondering, yo, what is the release like? What is the resale price? So, all right, retail is confirmed to be US dollars, $96. 
in pounds, if I'm not mistaken, it's gonna be $95, which is kind of taxing on these hoes, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. We got Black Air Force criminal activity out here as well with the clean white G Faso Uptowns G Faso. I just combined two adjectives into one. It is what it is. Resale wise, they're right now going for over $200. Like I would definitely recommend pre-selling this, especially if you're going in store. If you're shopping online, it's gonna take time for it to get to you in hand and all that other stuff. So I wouldn't really focus on pre-selling this one. If you're in store, I would pre-sell it white and black colorways. In-store stock and online stock is looking to be decent. Exact numbers, I couldn't tell you, but once again, they did confirm that these shoes will be restocking throughout seasons. So plural seasons. So they'll be re they'll be releasing this season, next season, and probably a few seasons more after that. This is gonna be the basic sneaker. They have tried to do this in the past. However, I think they did it with Vans or Clarks and they ended up just not selling at all. So they decided not to do that. So that's why I think they want the simple design to attract a lot of people. Like who doesn't want a regular pair of Air Force Ones and a little bit of Supreme running on it? Like it's not obnoxious to the point where no one will like it, but it's to the point where, oh, people can enjoy the design. It's not gonna be too much. It's not gonna be obnoxious. If you wanna go and be loud, you put on the bright red laces. If you don't wanna be too loud, you just rock the regular white laces. I think it's absolutely perfect at what they did. I did hate it at the beginning with the just simple design, but at the end of the day, marketing wise and re like selling wise from their standpoint, they've done the best they could possibly do for keeping it in stock and maintaining sales consistently like Hanes boxers. Hanes, nice and simple, it always sells. Supreme Air Forces, nice and simple, it's always going to sell. And I just love the fact that they did this. It's absolutely perfect in my eyes the way they did. Uh, and it'll be restocked regularly throughout the season. So resale wise, what I recommend Cop a bunch of pairs as you can right now. Resell, flip those as much as you can. Local people, I'm sure you can find kids at your school, at your job, at your workplace, wherever, that will willing to buy these for more than retail around like 150 plus. Right now, market is over $200 for the white pair, and I see it staying around 180, 150 during the online release, and then after online orders come in, market's gonna be destroyed. And after restocks do come in, it's basically just gonna be a basic ass retail pair. Do I see going under retail? Honestly, I don't. I do see them gradually selling out throughout the time because we have got Hanes boxers and they're not even under retail in the resale market. And those are sitting forever for damn near like 20 years. I'm not I'm playing but like for a long ass time, you know? And that's why I say resale, I do expect to go just cop it for the flip life at first and then cop it for the toe after that. But that's just about it. Your boy's out of breath. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Stay tuned tomorrow for the early Air Jordan 3 UNC review. Other than that, though, that is it for your host. Actually, we're not going. Oh, my God. That's it for your boy. That's just it. That's just it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay tuned for also the in-store vlog, and then I'll catch you guys at the end of the day with some heat. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it so much. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.